Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about your person, the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling when it comes to you? Um, what are their intentions towards you? What do they wish they could tell you at this time? All right, so let's jump right in for Aries. Spirit angels, guys. What do we need to know for Aries regarding the person they are thinking about? or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about this person's energies, thoughts, feelings towards Aries? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Aries at this time? Overall energy, thoughts, feelings, towards Aries. Eight of Swords, okay, so fear overthinking, feeling a bit stuck. They're thinking a lot about something because the Five of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. They could be thinking of the past, feeling like the past has a hold on them, um, feeling that there's no way to get out of a situation or improve a situation. Um, this could be somebody that has had a lot of regrets and they're too scared to really make a move or come forward. What else? What else do we need to know about this person's energies, thoughts, feelings towards Aries at this time? Five of Swords. So I feel like something happened in the past with this um, specific person. Maybe they screwed up somewhere. Um, maybe they are ashamed of their behavior. Oh, that's what I'm getting. Ashamed of their behavior or something with their behavior keeps them from, you know, kind of it keeps them from being confident. I feel like this person doesn't have a lot of confidence. They are very insecure and afraid. And it has to do with some sort of conflict or behavior that happened in the past between you. Now the star is here. So Aquarius energy and an energy of healing, renewal, um, hope, faith, having hope or faith in something working out in seeing you know the light at the end of the tunnel tell me about this star this person could be hoping to repair oh uh, yeah there's the five of cups again so this person could be hoping to fix whatever the issue is between you um aries queen of swords at the bottom of the deck there gemini libra aquarius energy so i feel like they want to talk things out clear things up um, because I feel like this is someone that, I don't know, it's, it's almost like they can't really sleep very well. They can't, this is not letting them rest. Um, they're thinking about this a lot. And I'm almost getting like, it's like a spiral for this person. Like they, they're like, I'm not going to think about that anymore. But then something will happen and then they'll start thinking a little bit. And then it gets worse and worse and worse. I think they're ashamed of their behavior, honestly. I feel like that's the main problem there. Let's get some oracles out here. Can I get some more insight, please, on this person's energies towards Aries? Insight guidance, please. What's the energy here that this person is bringing to this connection? What about energy? from this person, okay? Overall energy. Pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. You're being tempted to give in to your desires. Maybe that's what got them in trouble. True love, the connection between you is genuine and true. You know, there's two ways to look at this. I feel like some of you, this person messed with true love they had true love with you and they're, they were tempted by something else and screwed up. Others of you, I feel like there's like this hold that this connection has on this person. Like there's a, there's a, a passionate desire for this connection to exist or to happen or to take place or whatever. Tell us more spirit. What else do we need to know? about this person's energies, thoughts, feelings towards Aries. What do we need to know about this person's energies, thoughts, 
feelings when it comes to Aries. Oh, I got two. So this is love. So this is the miracle that I've been dreaming of. Happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment. Oh yeah, I feel like this is this your person's biggest hope. Um, the miracle that I've been dreaming of. Yeah, they're hoping for a miracle. Bottom of the, uh, not the bottom of the deck, but the next card out was hero, bravery, strength, loyalty. So I feel like this is what your person wishes they could be. Brave. Um, I think they when they daydream, they are a hero, but reality is as eight of swords. You know, it's something's up there. I want one more. Spirit, can I get one more, please? I feel like cards want to come out of my decks, but they're just not. This one. A whole new world. When I'm way up here, it's crystal clear. Then now I'm in a whole new world with you. Perspective, new understanding, and clarity. Yeah, they're realizing something about this connection that maybe they didn't realize before, Aries. That this is real love. That this is what love should be. Rendezvous is at the bottom of the deck. Meeting, get together, and reunion. So I feel like this is, again, the miracle your person's hoping for. They're like hoping for... A miraculous reunion. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm picking up there. What do they want to tell Aries? Oh, okay. Wow. The lovers and the two of swords, Gemini energy. That there's love here, that they love you, that they recognize you are the partner for them, but there's a block. Why is the two of swords here? They're undecided. It's, it's reminding me exactly of the Eight of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? King of Swords and the King of Cups. With the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. It's just so much has happened. And I feel like this person is at a different... They're at a different level or a different... I don't know. Maybe they've matured since whatever happened. Maybe they've gained some serious clarity and maturity about their the part they played because i feel like when it comes to you this person is unsure of you know i mean they know the connection is real but i feel like they're a bit torn um and the lovers is really a card about a, de a decision between what your heart is telling you or what your mind is telling you so here we have the heart king of cups and the mind king of swords so which way should i go I feel like they might even tell you something like, logically, this is a bad idea, <laughs> but emotionally, it's what makes sense. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there's a lot that this person's carrying. Like they're carrying a heavy burden because of whatever the past, whatever happened in the past for every, you know, this is a collective reading. So it's for um, a bunch of Aries um, out there. So. All of your situations are different. Okay, so let's see. What is in this person's heart space? What do they um, want to tell you? What are their feelings towards you? What is in this person's heart space when it comes to Aries? What is in their heart space when it comes to Aries? I must confess that I am in love with you. Wow, a confession. What are their feelings? What's in their heart space when it comes to Aries? Destiny will help us find each other. What's at the bottom of the deck? I know that you're my soulmate. Oh my gosh, okay. So I feel like this is somebody that they're realizing this is a special connection. They're realizing the connection between you is genuine and true. Um, but I also feel like, and that will be a confession, by the way, a heartfelt confession of how they feel towards you, Aries. But I also feel like destiny needs to be involved because of the conflicts from the past. 
you know, it's almost like you need an assist from the heavens <laughs> for whatever reason. What's behind this? Waiting around. Okay, so yes, I feel like this person, they know you're their soulmate, but they're not really taking action just yet. So let's look at their intentions towards you. I think they're waiting around because they're like this. They're like, I don't know, like wrapped into like a pretzel or something. Um, unsure, undecided, you know, two of swords, very conflicted. What are this person's intentions towards Aries? Spirit. What are their intentions towards Aries? What are their intentions towards Aries? What are their intentions towards Aries? Eight of Pentacles, to put in effort, to work hard. You know what I'm getting here? I'm getting that this person is thinking about like, like actually coming up with a plan. A workaround a solution like their their brain is going a mile a minute and they're really thinking about what it will take because they're hoping for a miracle which tells me having this work out for them would be a game changer would be magical right it would be almost like unexpected guided by fate, by destiny, because there is some sort of obstacle here. And their intention is to figure a way around that obstacle. I think that the, the only problem that I foresee, Aries, is that this person might take forever trying to figure this out. They might be thinking about this a little too much. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles. So it's almost like which way? In what way? How? How do I make this happen? What do I do? Um, juggling multiple things, considering all options is kind of what I'm getting here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. If this resonated for you and you feel like sharing, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.